Hokimaino, welcome back. A month's long wait for permission is the reality for some businesses desperate to get bollards installed to prevent ram raids. For one Auckland liquor store hit multiple times, the process has taken too long, and now they're picking up the pieces. Zane Small reports. A mass of smashed bottles, the floor drenched in alcohol. After yet another overnight ram raid attack on this liquor store in the Auckland suburb of Orake. We have a uh, store chain of seven to eight stores and this is like the eighth time in this three months. Anuj says even with insurance it will set them back $40,000. Money he says could have been spared if the council had approved his application for permission to have bollards installed sooner. He's willing to pay for them but without the consent he can't move forward. There is no response from the Auckland council from last four months. Auckland Transport handles the bollard application process. We are trying to find out where the communication has kind of uh, been a bit of a bottleneck. Even businesses hit months ago are still waiting for help. This dairy here on the Parnell Strip was one of the many victims of ram raids across Auckland. The owner is in the final stages of approval to get bollards installed. It's been a months long process. Are you satisfied with how long it's been taking? Um, no. Kalbesh says his application process to get bollards installed has taken three months. I was told that I will have to get permission from Auckland Council. The government announced a $6 million package in May to help affected store owners to pay for protection like bollards, but there are concerns it's not reaching those who need it. In New Zealand, there are over 6,000 dairies. At least two-thirds of them are impacted or seriously need uh, the bollards. Uh, but there is, uh, you know, they don't know how to uh, access the funding. Because these hard-working Kiwis are growing tired of cleaning up the mess. Zane Small, News Hub.